Okay, everyone, welcome back to Higher Learning Test Prep's instructional video series. We're going to be looking today at one of the harder geometry problems that you could run into on the SAT. So let's take a look. So this question reads, in the figure above, a shaded polygon which has equal sides and equal angles is partially covered with a sheet of blank paper. If x plus y equals 80, how many sides does the polygon have? So even if you're not sure how it's all going to add up to the right answer, it's important to just start working through what you do know. For instance, on this problem, even though I don't know how many sides there are of this figure, I do know that x plus y equals 80, and I know that there's a trapezoid here formed with a sheet of paper and three sides of the polygon. In fact, let's, let's name these angles. We're, we're going to name these A and B. Okay, and because it's a four-sided figure, a quadrilateral, I know that A plus B plus X plus Y should equal 360 degrees. And if, you, if you're if you not sure about that, then there's this formula that you should try to memorize for the SAT. If N is the number of sides, N minus 2 times 180 should give you the, the total number of degrees. So the number of degrees. Hopefully you're following me that this is not O's but degrees. Anyways, so we have n minus 2 times 180 would give us the number of degrees. If we had plugged the 4 in here for four sides of our trapezoid formed by the piece of paper and the polygon, then we would get 360 degrees. So we therefore know that 360 degrees equals the total number of degrees of that trapezoid. And we also know that we could determine a and b by subtracting x and y. That is, if 360 is the total number of degrees, then 360 minus our 80 degrees, which make up our, remember, our x and y is, uh, is 80 degrees, this should give us the number of degrees for a plus b. a plus b. Okay, we also know that this is a polygon which has equal sides and equal angles. Okay, well if A and B are equal, and together they equal 280, then dividing by 2, we'd get 140, and that's A or B. Okay, well great. If A is 140 degrees, then we have a figure that has, you know, a bunch of angles of 140 degrees. And while that doesn't quite solve our problem, we're almost there. Now this formula up here is going to come in handy once again. So this formula is the, the total number of degrees, not of O's, but the total number of degrees for this figure. Now, if you took the total number of degrees and you divided it by the number of sides that you'd have or the number of angles that you'd have, you'd get the degree measure of each of those said angles. Well, we know that that degree measure is 140, so we can use this equation once again with a little adjustment in order to get our answer. Well, this is the total number of degrees. If we divide that by the total number of angles, which again is n, then we should get the degree measure of one of our angles. And we know that that degree measure is 140. So now we're well on our way. Now just a little bit of algebra and we're done. So let's distribute that 180. We'll get 180n minus 180 times 2, which is 360. This is all over n, and this still just equals 140. So then we can divide, or I'm sorry, multiply by n to get rid of the n on the bottom there. So 180n minus 360 equals 140n as we multiply both sides by n to get rid of the n here. And so now we have 180n minus 360 equals 140n. Let's get the n's all on one side and the numbers on the other side. So let's do, uh, let's subtract 140n from both sides because nobody likes negative numbers all over the place. We'll subtract 140n over here. And we're also going to get rid of the 360 on this side. We'll add 360 and we'll add 360. And when we do this all out, we get 40n on one side, and we get 360 on the other side. Now we can divide by 40.
and we're going to get n equals 9. So there you have it. There's the answer to our question. There's nine sides of this figure. I think what's important to, to see here is that even though it may not be obvious right away how this information, that is this x plus y equals 80, how this information is going to lead us to the answer to our problem, what's important is to work through what we do know anyways. And obviously the other thing that was important is this equation right here, knowing that we have an equation that will give us both the number of degrees total, not the number of O's, remember, but the number of degrees, and then that we can use that equation and divide by the number of angles or sides that we have, and we will get the degree measure for each individual angle. Okay, so there you have it. A tough geometry question on the SAT that I think with a little bit of work, each and every one of you can get.